एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन ग्राफिकली द गिवन इक्वेशन आर फोर एक्स माइनस फाइव वाई माइनस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड थ्री एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई माइनस फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू जीरो डिटर्मिन द वर्टिस ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फॉर्म बाय द लाइन्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग द अब इक्वेशन एंड द वाई एक्सेस So let's start with the solution. And the given equations are first is 4x minus 5y minus 20 is equal to zero. Let this be equation number one. And the second one is 3x plus 5y minus 15 is equal to zero. Let this be equation number two. To solve the given problem graphically, first let us find the values of x and y which satisfy equation 1. So from 1, we have 4x is equal to 20 plus 5y or x is equal to 20 plus 5y divided by 4. Now let us make a table. And which we shall jot down the values of x and y. Now, when y is 0, then x is 20 divided by 4, which is equal to 5. When x is 0, then we have 20 plus 5y is equal to 0. So this implies 5y is equal to minus 20, which gives that y is equal to minus 4. And when, let us take y as minus 2. So when y is minus 2, then x is equal to 10 divided by 4, which is equal to 2.5. So this solves the first equation. Now let us find the values of x and y which satisfy the second equation. Now from the second equation, we have 5y is equal to 15 minus 3x. Or y is equal to 15 minus 3x divided by 5. Again let us make a table and write down the values of x and y which satisfy this equation. Now when x is 0 then y is 15 divided by 5 which gives 3 and then y is 0, then we have 15 minus 3x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 15 divided by 3, which is equal to 5. And when we suppose x as 2, then y is equal to 9 divided by 5, which is 1.8. Now, let us plot these two equations on the graph. Starting with the first one, when x is 5, y is 0. So this point denotes 5, 0. When x is 0, y is minus 4. This point denotes 0, minus 4. And when x is 2.5, y is minus 2. So here, when x is 2.5, which is around, somewhere around this point, y is minus 2. So this point denotes 2.5 comma minus 2. Now let us join these three points to get the graph of first equation. So this is the graph of line 4x minus 5y minus 20 is equal to 0. Now let us plot the points in the second table. When x is 0, y is 3. So this point denotes 0, 3. And when x is 5, y is 0. So this point denotes 5, 0. As this point is already in line 1. So this point is common to both the lines. And the third point is when x is 2, 
y is 1.8. So this point denotes 2 comma 1.8. Now let us join these three points to get the graph of the second equation. So this is the graph of equation 3x plus 5y minus 15 is equal to 0. Now we have to determine the vertices of the triangle formed by the lines representing the above equations and the y-axis. So this is the region which is determined by the two lines and the y-axis. So this is the required triangle. Now we have to determine its vertices. So its vertices are this point which is 0, 3 that is denoted by P. This point which is 5, 0 denoting it by Q. And this point denoting it by R which is 0, comma, minus 4. Therefore P, Q and R are the vertices of the required triangle formed by the given lines and the y-axis. Hence, our answer is vertices of triangle PQR are P with coordinates 0, 3, Q with coordinates 5, 0 and R with coordinates 0, comma, minus 4. So, this completes the session. Hope you have understood it. Bye and take care.